Today we had our Mizuno Coach Performance Recovery and Wellness form. It's quite important to realize it's not bad to be high on stress as long as you know how to recover. Michael gave us a really good theoretical understanding in the first instance about why recovery is important. We lose a lot of coaches at a very young age, good coaches. We cannot afford to lose good coaches early because they're getting burned out. Wellness matters and coaches need to get more in tune with what wellness means to them. If you don't get in your recovery, if you don't fill up your resources early, uh, when stressful times are coming up, and that's part of sport, it's really hard to cope with all the issues um, coming ahead. It's about creating an environment where they're well supported and, and that they know that we actually care. It is not about reducing the level of stress, it's about identifying what kind of recovery activities you have and they're very individual specific, so we have to have a toolkit of recovery activities you can choose from depending on the circumstances uh, available. The recovery stress piece is a really important opportunity. It's a very practical way of having different conversations with our coaches and performance support staff to make sure that they're actually able to manage the load that they're under and that we actually look at them beyond just the role that they're doing for us here at N-Swiss or in their sports and what's going on in their lives outside of sport because that can have a massive impact on their recovery and stress states while they're doing their work. One thing I, I would suggest for the coaches in the future is using self-reflective tools in order to see where the personal recovery stress state is at uh, and to be much more aware as well as getting support from all the institutes and in Swiss for example in order to, to put mental health of coaches on the radar.